today I wanted to do a different kind of video. So maybe you know, maybe you don't know. Derek and I have been living in a tiny house for over two years and it's not really something I talk a lot about on this channel. Like a lot of people make comments and they're like, do you live in a tiny house? And I've done tiny house tours and things like that, but I've never really done like a full on overview of living totally off the grid in a 200 square foot tiny house kind of video. <laughs> now it's been two years doing this and we're still here. It's been a good time. We actually just did a podcast. We started a podcast channel called The Boondocks because <laughs> um, So it was called The Howlets. We're, we're gonna do daily vlogs or not daily vlogs but vlogs on there but we're just gonna do weekly podcasts on there now. Yeah because we I mean we kind of live out in the boondocks and we actually looked at like a million podcast names and that was the only one that wasn't taken. We're just gonna kinda like give you guys an overview of how things work out here because we do totally live off the grid. We have rainwater catchment. We don't even have a well. We have solar power, a gray water system, composting system. Like we're really in it, you know? <laughs> we're in it real deep. Yeah, so the first thing we'll show you guys will be our rainwater catchment system and just give you like a super brief overview of how that works. So I built this 2,900 square foot roof, um, essentially like on the ground and water falls on it, goes down to the gutter, goes down two four inch pipes down to the water tanks over there. So those two four inch pipes come down underground into our main tank, it's gravity fed. So there's about 10,000 gallons of storage right here. Total, we have about 13,000 gallons between seven tanks. So yeah, even living in the desert where it doesn't rain too often. <laughs> often enough, but not very often. What do we have, 12,000 gallons of storage? Yeah, it's about 13,000 gallons of total water storage we use. We capture around 15 to 16,000 per year, and we use about 1,000 gallons of water per month and compare that to the standard house, it's probably a small fraction of what a normal house uses. Yeah, and that's mainly because our house is 200 square feet. We don't have a flush toilet, which takes up a lot of water. And then we use basically like a gray water system, which we'll show you for our garden and our plants. So the water goes into the house. It goes through some standard whole house cartridges, which are just some, you know, pretty inexpensive filters. And then everything that we drink and cook with goes through our Berkey filter. So it's nice and pure and it's not gonna endanger us in any kind of way. I get a lot of questions about the Berkey filter. It's probably the best water filter we've ever had. Um, we changed the filters. I think we've only changed them like twice. And in like two, three, uh, three years now, I think we've had it. Yeah, and it's definitely like the best tasting water that we've had ever had. But we also have rainwater, which is a very, very pure type of water. Like if you have, if you go to a store and you buy smart water, that's just basically water that's been distilled through the clouds. So it's just rainwater. Um, versus like mineral water, spring water, which has been seeped through the ground, which soaks up a lot of minerals and deposits and stuff like that. So it's just a different type of water, but our water is totally clean, tastes mm -hmm. amazing. It, you know, we don't have hard water deposits. It doesn't like gunk up my hair or anything like that. We don't have to worry about hard water. It's great. <laughs> so for composting, we actually have three separate compost bins that we turn over from time to time. And basically all that goes in here is all of our fruit and vegetable waste or food waste. Basically all of it goes into here and we put like, well we put car we put cardboard in here to help soak up the moisture so that it stays wet. And then um, over when it gets full we put straw on top of it and it will basically just compost over the course of a year. And then once it's composted, this is actually one that has been I don't think we left it in there quite long enough, but this is like what it turns into. So it basically just turns back into soil, which that was our first time ever composting anything. And to see them actually break down was quite shocking. Fantastic. So yeah, that was the first time we ever composted anything, but I think we're gonna have to leave it longer next time. So we try to reuse as much water as we can. So this pipe here is the drain that comes from our washing machine. So all we have to do is use the right soap and then we can use that water um, and recycle it to grow this beautiful mulberry tree. So it's deciduous. So right now it looks like it's dead, but once it starts to warm up, it'll have big leaves on it and we'll get some mulberry fruit, which we've already gotten off of it. So these 
These are our solar panels here. Um, it provides essentially all the power needs that we need throughout the year. We're able to run electric cooking appliances, a mini split, water heater, all on electric so we don't have any natural gas or propane for anything. So just with designing it to the correct size and investing in it, uh, we can live comfortably just living on the sun. The campers are rocking, don't come a knocking. Tony gave that to us. Our tiny house is 200 square feet as I think like the base dimensions. And then with the two lofts that we have, I think it brings it up to like 280. Um, but we have been living in this tiny house for two over two years now. So it's basically like a fully functional house. It's just very small. <laughs> and we do have basically like a full kitchen, which was something that we needed for my YouTube channel. Obviously we have a full fridge, so we don't have to go to the store like too often. And we basically, the appliances that we use are mostly just an induction cooktop, an air fryer, an instant pot, and a rice cooker. And we use this juicer for our celery juice. I do have, other videos on my channel of like a full tiny house tour which i'll link below for you guys but basically yeah it's just like you walk in one big room you got your kitchen this is our sleeping loft so we have actually a king size mattress pad up there that we sleep on and it's pretty comfortable this is a little desk that we don't use so we just put it here for the cats with their food and their scratch pad dogs sleep here and then this is our office loft which is kind of like Derek's man cave technically because he just sits in there and works all day and then this is our bathroom so we just very basic closet shower tiny shower and then our toilet too easy too easy so yeah I know you guys see a lot of me standing in this position in the house but I just wanted to give you guys like an idea of how we live off the grid in a tiny house and I mean we've been doing that for two years it hasn't been the greatest thing in the world like but it's been okay the size kind of gets uh the tiny house thing has gets gotten kind of old yeah um, just because obviously the lack of size but there are a lot of pros and um in our first podcast the boondocks podcast we talked about pretty well everything yeah that we so like what we don't like and it was kind of more of me talking about like the future of the apocalypse and how that and, and tiny houses. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, we talked about how we've lived in here and like the struggles and stuff that we've had. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, it's given us a home. We're probably going to be living in this for another eight or nine months at least because we are building a, another house on our property because we technically, like, you can't technically you can't live in a tiny house. It's not legal. But in our county, they will let us live in this for up to, what, three years? Three while years. we build a house, like an actual house on our property. So now it's been two years and now we're like cracking down and being like, okay, mm. we gotta build a house. So yeah, let me know any questions you guys have down below. Go check out our podcast. Like Derek said, we're gonna be posting a new podcast every week. So if you have any ideas for the podcast or anything that you want us to talk about, leave that in the comments box below. Or anything else that you want to know about our setup out here, let me know in the comments and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.